That's a frog. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Patty, and if you're new here, I am a dog mom. I talk a lot about my dogs and how we care for them and how we maintain a multi-dog household. As you can see, I have really furry dogs. They are double-coated dogs. I have two Chow Chows and a Caucasian Shepherd, and they shed a lot. This guy sheds twice a year, whereas this guy sheds once a year, but every time they blow off their coats, there's fur everywhere. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the five things I do to remove pet hair in our home. Number one, brush your dog daily. Now brushing your dog daily can be a little tedious, but you can do it in under five minutes. Just make sure that you do it daily. Doing so will actually control the fur in your house because double-coated doggies blow off their coats, depends on the breed. Our Chow Chow sheds twice a year and our Caucasian Shepherd sheds once a year. So to help them blow off their coat, you should use a de-shedding tool. So if you have a slicker brush, that's fine too, or a finishing comb, you can get a furminator. But in this video, I use something similar. It's called the Fur Fetcher. And it serves the same purpose. It's a good de-shedding tool, but if you have the furminator, that's great too. Your goal here is to help your dog blow off his coat, especially during shedding season. Tip number two is vacuum daily and vacuum often. I vacuum once in the morning and once at night, and doing so will help you control and manage all the fur that goes around the little corners of your house. Tip number three, if you have a squeegee, the one that you use to clean your windows, that's great. But if you can get your hands on a pet fur roller, it's a frog. It's actually a hardworking tool. So you can use this on your carpet if you have carpeted floors, or you can use it on your fabric upholstery, like your sofas. I also use this to quickly clean the dog beds. Tip number four is getting a lint roller or a lint brush and you can get them easily from your nearest hardware store and I think if you have dogs at home, it's really important to have some lint rollers handy. The lint brush though is a little more eco-friendly than the lint roller but uh, if you're choosing the roller, don't forget to stock up on your refills. And finally, I think everybody has this in their kitchen and you can actually use it to help you control the fur in your home. And I'm talking about regular rubber gloves. You can use it on your upholstery, your sofa, your carpets. And if you have furry dogs like these guys, you're bound to have fur everywhere in your clothes and your hair. So you can just use this so much like a lint remover to just catch all of the fur everywhere around you. So it's easy. You just wear them. You just go around your house and get all the fur using these rubber gloves. And as a bonus tip, if you can invest in an air filter, just a basic one, it can totally improve the quality of the air inside your home, especially if you have dogs. So those are the five things I do to remove pet hair around our home and I hope this video helped you and gave you ideas on how to control and manage the pet fur in your home. I hope you can give us a like and a subscribe and if you hit the bell button, you will be notified on all of the other videos that we're going to be coming up with. Again, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a good day. Until the next video.